welcome back to my channel Mispronounced Adventures and I'm rather glad to be back. Last night was quite eventful uh, with that storm but we've got through, the van looks absolutely fine so hopefully we're going to reach Nordcap today. so nice that it's frozen again. I've got grit so controllable compared to yesterday. So I'm struggling to figure out, let's take you to the other camera. So I'm currently trying to figure out the convoys. Um, so the snow gates are open and I presume, and the last snow gate had a convoy sign on it, but I presume that is if that gate was shut. So I'm going to go, I guess, to the next gate, which is go to the gate which is shut and wait there. But it didn't say stop. Also, it was in Norwegian, so I didn't, I didn't know what it really said. But it said times and something, which was like convoy. <laughs> Last night was a bit of fun, wasn't it? Does that mean I can put a clickbait title on the video? Well, presumably you've already seen whatever the title is, if you're here, but like... I almost died. Nor trapped Kai to kill me. Absolutely stunning. Right, the column driving, I'm not entirely, I know what it is, but I had the sign translated on my phone, but I think you only stop there if the gates close, and then that implies there will be a column driving at that time. And looking up on the, the next one where the gate is still shut, one of the, on the webcam for it, one of the vans which was at the park up last night is currently parked up there. So I'm presuming that that's as far as I'm gonna get, and then I'm gonna wait for the column. So, uh, well, best get there, really. Starts at kilometer 13 on route 69. Well, there's the gate, what's the sign? Solar panels. That's always a nice change. Couple more vehicles arriving. There's a range of. There's a Tesla in front, a normal van. This transport in front of me. That epic six by six Sprinter with hab box, and then two motorhomes rocking up. Oh, that's a big one. the gravel. Didn't 
that. Just get an erection. driven the van until there is no more north in continental Europe. No more north. Made it. End of Europe or where the road ends is what the E69 is. And there's quite a weather front just coming in now. Might be making my way back to the van. until there's no more north to go. Quite different times here. Apparently. I found the gift shop. Here's a tip for anyone who's going uh, or wants to go up to Norcap in your vehicle. If you join the convoy, which goes at 11 a.m., you get here about an hour, an hour and a half before any of the buses turn up and there's now hundreds of people on the um, like the big marker. Probably when we got here it was just the, the lunatics in their own vehicles. All right let's uh, let's get out of here. Going north is done. I don't although it is here there's a convoy coming back I think I've just seen some of the other vehicles which were in the convoy I came with. I've left over the last half an hour, so I think you can just go. 
a bit of a look around the visitor centre, but um, yeah. Time to head off. Just because we have made the objective of getting to Nordcap is no no point to let my guard down and get complacent. Getting to here is only half the, uh, half, the, half the trip. Doesn't count if you don't get back. Honestly, this taxi driver in front is, uh, came steaming up behind me, overtook me on a downhill bit of icy road. I was going 40 miles an hour. And his end just got right up the arse of the van in front, uphill on an icy road. Absolutely mad! Goodrich KO2 tyres, which I run on this van, are absolutely incredible. However, last night and the sliding around, I don't think if you had a studded tyre on it would have helped whatsoever. Studded tyres are great on ice. Yeah, that's obvious. Problem was, last night, the temperature had risen to five degrees plus. So everything was slushy. And the ice wasn't well. It wasn't hard anymore. So I think tire, I think um, studs or big tread, uh, all terrain tires wouldn't have been any help. Or studs, especially. There's nothing for studs to dig into when the ice is slush. Yeah, I am just amazed at how well these tires perform. Phenomenal. And I'm saying that after I was blown around like a pinball in the park up last night and then slid down a hill being pushed sideways by the wind into a snowbank. Then pushed out of the snowbank by the wind. Um, and I'm still like, these tyres are absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. I wanted to see if there's any evidence of my adventure last night. I think the snow's uh, got rid of all the tracks. Right, here's last night's scenario. So I was parked here, these are my two wheels, and I, it slid the van, as you can see these grooves here, to there. And then that's when I drove out, uh, out the car park, and then down into that bit there, where I then slid into the hill. <laughs> but it's now grippy and all frozen. It was all slushy and wet when I was sliding around. Yeah, here's where I slid down the bank. Well, my back wheel hit there. And my front tire <laughs> evidently hit this. And that's where uh, my wheel ended up. And then the wind blew me over, hitting that on the other side. And then I drove down and hit over there for a while. I'm so glad there's just no sign of any damage whatsoever. I mean, considering I slid into something and then something hit me as well when I was parked. I could have also made my way back to hide in this tunnel, but that was a little bit of a further distance in that car park, so, and it would have been driving into the wind. Right, back to Aldersfjord. What a difference a few degrees in a day makes. Um, 
it's minus one at the minute and you can just see how much grip there is on the road, all this snow and ice compared to yesterday which was all slush and it was raining and plus five degrees. Well that snow is starting to arrive. I've got about another 35 odd miles to get back to Alderfjord, but that's still going to put me right in the middle of the area getting snowed on. Should be interesting to figure out. Plus I'm absolutely knackered from being up to 4 a.m. last night. Well that is the um the hell's going on with my hair? That is the snow starting to appear, which was on the forecast. I'm still about 35 miles from Alderfjord, I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, but that's still going to be an hour or so on these roads, and that's like in the middle or to the very top where that big snow drop is coming. So I need to make the decision if I want to carry on further today and get past it or just stay in Alderfjord and wait for the plough in the morning. Yeah, it's becoming the white room. Back to Alderfjord, I think that's how it's pronounced, maybe. And yeah, it's getting dark, so I'm going to figure out the park up for the night, how much further I want to go, probably look up where that snow is going to get dumped, and then make my decision from there. Certainly can't see much. Snowy outside. It's all going on this evening. So that's pretty much going to end this episode here. Objective complete. I've made it to Nordcap in the winter, and that's been one hell of a crazy experience. But I've absolutely loved all of it. Uh, I could imagine going up to Nordcap in the summer is going to be an equally crazy experience, just very different. I mean, seeing Norway in the, mid in the land of the midnight sun must be absolutely phenomenal. So I'm now in Northern Norway. Uh, I think what I'm probably gonna do is Tromso, Lofoten Islands, they're up here. So I think I'm gonna follow the Norwegian coast for the next bit and just see where that takes me. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna end this video here. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, feel free to give me a subscribe, a like or a comment, or share one of the videos around. If you wanna see a bit more about the upgrades I've made to the van, particularly for coming up here, check out the upgrade playlist. If you want to see some of the other stuff about this trip find the other playlists and yeah thank you very much for joining me and i'll see you next time cheers bye